Hello and welcome. I'm Silvia Pavoni, economics editor of The Banker, and I'm here with Alexandra Dunaev, who is the co-founder and CEO of ID Finance. Thank you for joining me. Hi, thank you. Um, so, Alexander, you have uh, set up the company in 2012 in Russia, but you're now expanding in Latin America. So, tell me, why did you choose this region? Absolutely. Look, since the launch in 2012, we have already started operations in seven countries. Um, two of them are now in Latin America. We've started in Brazil in 2016. We've added Mexico at the end of last year. We see Latin and Central America as the real focus of our growth in the future. Um, we see this enormously sized populations, very large markets, um, very high internet penetration. Banks are underserving the consumers at the moment. We really see those markets on the cusp of transformation. We'll look at Brazil, 200 million people, Mexico, 120 million people. Brazil is an example where we've been operating just over a year. You cannot actually apply for a loan online. So you really see this. Which is obviously what you do. You are Absolutely. an online uh, lender um, and you are uh, trying to, to fill the gaps that are being left by the traditional banks in these markets. Um, how do they differ from the others where you currently operate? And I know that you also are uh, uh, plan to expand uh, in other countries in the region, which ones and uh, why? So we see a lot of focus uh, internally on Latin America and Central America. We would like to, we're considering Colombia for this year, we're considering Argentina, we're considering Dominican Republic, we're mm -hmm. considering Peru, a lot of markets which are g g very, very interesting. And from the perspective of the difference, we operate in the European Union as well, we operate in Eastern Europe as well. Um, Relatively to the other places where we operate, Latin America really has, the competition at the moment is low, but it's heating up. Mm -hmm. So we see this market as being of extreme interest for both domestic players and international players. Uh, we see a lot of demand from the consumers and the consumers are ready. The internet is there, the banking infrastructure mm -hmm. is there, um, the mobile devices are there. So everything is in place and now you just need to start providing the service. So that's okay. why, that's why we come in. That's great. Um, one of the things that you bring in um, traditionally as all uh, fintech providers in this space offer uh, is credit scoring in a way that traditional banks don't always um, offer. So tell me a little bit more about that. What we see is that what differentiates, what gives you an edge is this real focus on the data science. Uh, what we have seen in, um, in countries like Brazil and Mexico, um, there is some amount of traditional data, so the credit bureaus exist, which is key for us. We would have not entered the market if there were no credit bureaus. We really need to understand the financial discipline. But some of the other um, data points that we could use, such as device data, uh, data on banking transactions, payment processing information, all that stuff is what we manufacture. We bring some of the vendors from Europe with us into Brazil, into Mexico. Mm -hmm. We start capitalizing on this data, which banks are not using. So we really, there is this huge swath of the population which has been shut off from the conventional consumer finance market, and that's where we come in. Lastly, I want to ask you about the regulatory framework um, across the region. So Mexico is probably one of the best examples of a place that's really uh, trying to put together the legislation to allow the fintechs to grow. Um, What's your assessment of what's happening in Mexico and uh, what about the other markets you want to expand in in the region? So the passing of the bill, of the fintech, the fintech bill in Mexico at the end of last year is really transformational from the, for the Latin American community. And Mexico has really seen a real takeoff uh, of fintech with, I think I've seen the statistical last year, the number of fintech firms spanning insure tech, personal finance, uh, consumer finance, enterprise financial management, that has increased by over 50% according to the industry statistics, which is clearly transformational for the, for the country. But what we see is that the governments across Central Latin America are really um, understanding that human capital and technology lie in the core of what will differentiate them, what will take them to the next age. Um, we are working closely with the central bank in Brazil uh, in introducing financial technology regulation to the economies and regulation is really the future of fintech globally and fintech in Latin and Central America in particular. So that's what we're going to, um, I guess, see um, next year as well, as we enter this year um, and next in the next year is about uh, uh, fintech regulation across the region. Across the world and across the region too. <laughs> Very well. Thank you so much, Alexander. It's a pleasure. Thank you.